Welcome back, everyone, to another Sunday service. I'm Kalani, and this is Music Mindfulness, and the subject today is spirit. It's that time of year. Uh, it, last week, I talked about introspection, and today, I thought we'd talk about spirit and what, um, you know, what is spirit? What is it? How do we feel more of it and how do we feel the kind of spirit that we want to feel? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about um, the kind of spirits that people tend to be afraid of. Uh, that was pre-Halloween. Evil spirits, bad spirits, ghosts, witches, goblins, and things. We talked about how none of that exists. So there's no need to be afraid of anything like that. But what, what do we... How do we actually cultivate spirit is the question, and what is spirit? Well, my definition, my loose definition, uh, general definition of spirit is, is the animating force of the universe. Spirit is what moves everything. It, what, it's what animates. It's, the, it's that force. Some people might call it uh, the force. Uh, some people might call it God. Some people might call it uh, the great spirit. Um, there's lots of different names or ways you can think about it. Uh, the Tao, perhaps. Uh, so, but it's just what moves things, right? If we didn't have a movement, if there was no animation, if there was no movement, there's no time, there's nothing, because everything's frozen. Um, not that we would know, <laughs> because we couldn't tell. There'd be no awareness, there'd be no movement in anything. It would just be nothing. Nothingness is stillness. Pure stillness. So we know uh, things are animated from the subatomic level to the uh, you know molecular level and our you know our level, which is more we'll just call it the surface of the planet level. You know, in terms of speed and mass, and then there's the planetary level, interplanetary, galac you know galactic level, universal level. Uh, lots of movement, um, but how do we feel? spirit on a personal level that's per perhaps the more important and pertinent question is um how do we feel spirit well the word spirit actually is related to the word um aspir aspire aspiration uh respiration to you know think about that res spirit respiration um so uh breathing and last week in in case you missed it uh, I did a breath meditation. Of course, one of the ways that we feel connected and we feel spirited is to do deep breathing, whether that's slow meditative uh, ujjayi yoga, you know, slow breathing, uh, or lion's breath, uh, faster breathing uh, to oxygenate the blood to, um, you know, help us feel more alert uh, to the kind of breathing that we need to do when we're doing certain exercises or certain tasks, tasks or the kind of breathing that we do when we're playing the flute. And that, I want to talk about that in a minute because that really relates to a kind of meditative breath, what we call resonant breathing. Uh, and you know, my philosophy is that we can use music and the arts, of course, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but let's remind ourselves that playing music, uh, singing, dancing, playing wind instruments, uh, playing percussion, things that are physical, tactile, uh, body aware, you know, that we use our body for that are very engaging physically, help us feel spirited. That's why in a lot of practices, we have dance, we have singing, we have instrument, we have the movement and rhythm, just again, to reiterate, and know, I know many of you know this, Rhythm is, has been said, to be the aspect of music that pertains to the feeling of forward motion. Now, are we, are we actually moving anywhere in, inside our feeling? Yes. Uh, physically, perhaps not. But the, I, the feeling of movement, the feeling of pace is about the rhythm. The uh, connection to beauty i think and and that kind of soaring feeling let's let's relate to the the idea of a bird in flight maybe gliding is more like the melody right maybe that's more like the flute and literally uh happening with the air with our breath so there's a lot of connections that we can make a lot of feeling that we can cultivate 
when we're experiencing music, and I mean either as a as a listener and as a responder to music, you know, dancing, um, air drumming, you know, air guitar. I mean, that's fine. That's still a musical experience. Relating to music is still very much a musical experience. However, I would encourage all of you to uh, deepen your connection to music actively by through some active music making, you know, whether that's uh, singing. M m most people in the world uh, engage in music uh, by singing along with musicians. And uh, many people, of course, adopt music as a hobby uh, and they become amateur musicians. And I mean that in the best way possible. The word amateur is, amateur is related to the word amor, which means to love, to love something. So an amateur is, even though in our culture sometimes we say, oh, they're just an amateur. Well, I think being an amateur musician, amateur anything is great because it means you're doing it because you love it. No other reason. You're not trying to be a professional. You're not professing anything. You're not trying to get paid necessarily. Um, you, you, the payment is the joy that you feel. It's that, that's the payment. That's the payoff. So you don't need anything other than to love what you're doing, uh, certainly. And then you can be passionate about that. Um, because it brings you joy, brings you spirit, spirited. Uh, so you think about somebody who's spirited, what, are they, what do we think of when we say, oh, they're very spirited? Well, they're moving, they're buoyant, they have a bright affect. So let's all remember that one of the ways that we can get there, that we can cultivate spirit is through the arts, is through music, dance, uh, something, you know, engaging and active. Now, I'm, I'm also a big fan of drawing and poetry and uh, the more, you know, personal contemplative. I would argue that drawing and maybe just writing poetry are not as animating as playing music or dancing, of course. So I'd recommend that even, I mean, I love to do everything. I say do everything, do anything that brings you joy and uh, connects you with a sense of wonderment and beingness, and whether that's in nature or, you know, you want to dream, you're a dreamer and you're fantasizing about different things and you put that on paper somehow, uh, either artistically or through words. I mean, that's all wonderful. But I really do recommend for all of us um, that we find time to play uh, because playing music, I mean, they call it playing music for a reason, right? It's not, it's not, uh, executing music. <laughs> Although some people, you say, oh man, they're killing it. Uh, that's different. Uh, but we call it playing music because it's playful, um, especially when you're doing live looping and you're just playing kind of off the cuff, you know, uh, and you're on that edge. So something that puts you into a state of creativity, but, but not too much security and puts you out there into the unknown, you know, you're kind of shoved out there a little bit and you've got to figure it out and do something. And that's why I like improvisation, especially. Uh, learning and recreating music is fine. Again, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but uh, I recommend that you spend a little bit of time in your musical lives. And m your musical life is your spiritual life, really. Uh, let's be honest. Um, so my neighbor's tapping into some music right now in <laughs> his front yard. I, can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. So music, yes, it helps us feel how we want to feel. But I recommend that you um, engage in some improvisatory, improvisation music, also called extemporaneous, meaning created in the moment. Um, again, the word improvisation, it just means making do with what is available at the time. So you can improvise uh, any kind of music with whatever you have. And perhaps you remember when you were young, many of us, uh, when we were children, used to play with, I remember playing with us in the sink, you know, full of water and pots and pans and things and experimenting with the sounds of uh, metal and glass and just tinkering around and, and being playful. Maybe that's in the bathtub or the, the swimming pool or out in nature in a river and a stream and you've got sticks and rocks and things and you're you know making sounds in the water and that's all a musical experience. Uh, so there's music to be made everywhere and it's not a matter of um, having the perfect tool, having the, the most beautiful 
you know, expensive, well-crafted instrument either. It's about what can you make with what you have available in the moment. And that might be, that might be just yourself, your body, body percussion, your voice. It might be uh, a, a paper bag and a, and a metal trash can or something, tin, you know, cans and bottles. And, and that's wonderful. So please give yourself, I'm giving you permission right now, and I hope you give yourself permission to, to make music with whatever you have available. Uh, and, uh, and don't worry about the critics. Uh, you know, when people criticize other people for creating and having fun, what they're really doing is trying to justify their own lack of, perhaps, their own lack of action and creativity and their own lack of confidence. And maybe you just help those people. Uh, because I think criticizing people for being creative and having fun is kind of a call for help in a way. They're saying, I don't know. I don't know how you're doing it. I, I'm not comfortable. You're making me uncomfortable <laughs> because I can't, I don't feel connected to that. So help them, help them get connected and help them find their way. I think that those people are, are lost in a way and they need some help. They need some guidance. So maybe that could be you. You could be their guide. Um, one of the ways that uh, I help people who don't have a lot of musical skill or training or, you know, they don't understand necessarily words like pitch and interval and scale and key um, to make music is by using certain instruments. And I've used these instruments before, but I want to point some attention and give a shout out to the folks at Hardwood Music um, because, for example, they make instruments like this. Uh, and this is not an infomercial. I'm not selling these, but I am going to put a link to a video that they posted because I appreciate what they do. They do really good work. Uh, the Thiel family, uh, Joa, Michael, Xander, and, and other folks over there uh, in Flagstaff, Arizona, handmade instruments. But I want you to hear this for a second. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, I've done some videos on these on the World Drum Club channel. But I'm just giving you this as an example of a really beautiful instrument. It's small. It's, uh, it's just lovely. Let me see, show you in the, in the side view. Um, and this instrument is called a tongue drum. I've got some videos on this, but I want you to hear this. I'm going to put a little reverb on. Pretty fun. Um, Hardwood Music Company, Joa, Michael, and family, the Thiel family. Um, these instruments, uh, they really changed my life. I've used them a lot for all kinds of different music, and uh, you can too. So hardwoodmusiccompany.com, I think, is their website. All right, I'm going to get back into a little bit of music making. The... Uh, the music that I was putting together, and I'm going to build on what I have here in the looper, but this music is based on um, a tune called Afro Blue, and uh, it's just a little callback to Mongo Santa Maria and some music that was made in the late 60s, early 70s, um, and playing on the flute, uh, playing the congas. I'm going to play this instrument over here, which is an Orf bass xylophone. Uh, the ukulele, perhaps. Let's get some more instruments involved and uh, see what happens. All right, let's go.
Again, thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, in this Sunday service, a community service of Kalani Music and World Drum Club, I want to thank all of our supporters, our patrons, who support this channel and support our mission of helping everybody access music and reap the benefits of music making, which there are many. Uh, music mindfulness is the subject of this particular series. If you'd like to connect with us more or support this effort, which is a free service, uh, you can do that at patreon.com slash Kalani. You can also study with me over there, percussion, ukulele, native flutes. You can get started for free over there uh, right now. If you're not busy, go over there right now to patreon.com uh, slash Kalani and see what we're doing over there. Um, and uh, thanks for stopping by on YouTube for this Sunday service. I appreciate everybody that's here with us live. I cannot see your questions or your comments from here. So um, if you have questions and comments for me, please message me through the Patreon system or you can send me an email from my website, kalanimusic.com. You can also tune into the Evolve podcast, uh, which is available through iTunes and through kalanidas.com. I want to thank the folks at Hardwood Music Company for providing uh, the tongue drums that I play, uh, the flutes that I played today. The small one is by Wood Sounds. And um, the larger one, I will leave a link uh, below or you know I'll, I'll leave a comment in the section uh, about that one and I've used that in the past um, parapole bass xylophone tycoon uh, drums and percussion today uh, and uh, I think that's about it and you <laughs> for, for listening and experiencing music along with me I wish you all a wonderful holiday season uh, however you choose to celebrate I hope you do it with spirit and you remember what we've talked about, uh, what we, you've experienced perhaps in this session. Uh, it's all about spirit and movement. Get out there, move, be a mover and a shaker. Uh, play your instruments, especially for other people. Um, and especially during this time of year when many people uh, maybe don't have access to live music or they can't get out and you can go to them and bring them um, music wherever they are. That's a wonderful way to be of service, something I highly recommend that we all do as musicians. Uh, play with each other, get in a group, play with us online, uh, join a drum circle, a flute circle, an ukulele club, and just get started and make music. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for being involved. And uh, I wish you all the best. I'll see you soon, probably next week. All right, thanks for watching.